Three, two, one. I'm Derek Rosen, I'm playing Cyframes, and this is the current format, which is like where Necros and Shadows and everything haven't been hit by the buttons yet. Two wind up rabbit, just because you can get it out of the way of like any traps or anything that can like harm it. You can keep your board clear and use your Cyframes because that's the most important thing. Two max Cs, just to draw cards, obviously. Three beta, best card in the deck, gets around every attack, it doesn't target, so it stops Cosmos. Yes, they're going to search, but at least their battle phase will be over, so they're not going to OTK you so easily. Uh, two Alpha, just because it's the main search of the deck, but you don't really need it at three. I mean, you do quite a bit of searching. You have quite a bit of draw power in this deck, so late game, this card may be kind of dead, but so two is enough. Three Gamma. Gamma is also like one of the top two deck cards in the deck, just to negate effects. Back when Necros were a thing, um, Gamma can you know just stop anything, and it's really good. Uh, three Delta. Um, I'm probably gonna cut one of these out and put it in a different card. I'm not exactly sure what to put in just yet, going into the new format. Um, but in this current format for today, Delta is still good because I'm still expecting Necros. Uh, two card cars. Card car just draws a lot of draws you all your cards. Late game, it's dead, so I I really only like to play two. Three cyphering drivers. Yes, this card can brick, um, but if you combine it with the trap card and then you know psychic field zone, you're still in a really good position. And if all these get banished, you can't use your effects at all, and you get locked out completely. So three is probably the best number. That's it for the monsters. Onto the spells. Uh, three cyframe circuit. Um, some people run two. I like to run three, just because you get to do all your plays that you need to do. And if you don't get to synchro summon, you're not going to win the game. So uh, two psychic field zones. I, th I think three is kind of overkill. So this card really comes in handy, especially when all your drivers get banished, so it's a really good card. Three dualities, you want to get to your cards as fast as possible, obviously, so duality gives you a one, or gives you three cards to look at, so best card. Uh, one terraforming, just, you have enough search power as it is, you have a lot of draw power, anything, getting this in another field spell late game is kind of dead, I, I don't run chicken games, so... Two Galaxy Cyclones. Um, I love banishing this in the graveyard and like hitting my own uh, overload trap. Uh, then setting up the entire loop with Omega at overload because you get to search on the same turn is absurd. Uh, two Upstart Goblins. Just I needed to make it 40 cards and I didn't really want to run 41 cards just to run a last Upstart Goblin, so two is fine. Uh, two breakthrough skills, we're into traps. Uh, again, another good card. Probably, it may come out, I'm not sure. Um, I like it right now just because, as uh, again, Necros are still a thing, so I haven't really updated the deck for the new format just yet. So. Three Overload, obviously the best card in the deck, um, aside from Beta. This card just gets rid of every single problem. It can get rid of Floodgates. Uh, it doesn't really do well against Cosmos but you can always get rid of their Cosmo Towns to stop them from searching and going plus one every turn. This card is an absolute 3 of. If they're going to hit anything in the in the deck, it would be this card. Uh, one Torrential and one Vanities, and that's it for the main deck. What do you want next? Uh, sorry, I'll extra this up to you. I'll do, uh, I'll do the extra deck. So for the extra deck, we have two Omegas. It's not exactly a three of, but it's not exactly a one of either, so two is probably the best number to play. Um, Chris, two Zetas, obviously another really good card. You could play this card three just because it's 
legit your best level seven synchro. Is anyone else playing Yu-Gi-Oh today? Your main target probably get used to get this for uh, psychic field zone. So Zeta's one of your best choices. Yeah, I did. Tristan, are you playing today? Yeah. Um, yeah. Clear wing. Best, uh, best choice really when you go into the extra deck to get around like high level monsters. Um, also, it just gains a lot of attack. Spark more. It's mainly just filler from here on out. Like Sparks just another good one. Ancient Fairy, Red, Yazi, Hot Red. This is coming out actually uh, for the new. Uh, the, the new Scarlight uh, oh, okay. Red Dragon. I have it. I'm going to be putting it in. Uh, yeah, Crimson Blader, Thought Ruler, Michael, Black Rose. This may come out too. I'm not sure. I'm just playing it because it looks good in ulti. <laughs> All I know, you will sit over here. All I remember is you eating it and not returning. I definitely give you your money. I put everything I look. I gave you your money. They're going to fight. It's going to be on West Dahl. They're going to fight. West Dahl. Take your summer here. I definitely gave you $17, bro. All right, so for the side deck, um, two retaliating Cs. This deck has a uh, little bit of a problem um, against Shadows, so... This card's good. Obviously, if you do this to Infernoids, it's still a really good card. Going into the new format, I think I'd be taking this out, though, because it's not really relevant. And unless Infernoids become, like, Tier 1, then... Even so, even so Infernoids become Tier 1, you, the chances of you playing against uh, Visioning is not good enough. Just, they, can, they only run Visioning to best... To, visioning must get to uh, special summon their monster. But I wouldn't use uh, that card at all. To be honest. No, it's just, it's, just it's only one, it, again, it's only against one deck, yeah. really, it's not something you really need to worry, yeah. worry that much about. Um, and Max is still good. Max is still good. Yeah. I like two Kaiser Coliseums, because you really only need to sit on one Omega, and if you sit on the, the Omega and you set up the trap card, you're going to loop yourself right into, in, in, into a win, it's, especially with this. Uh, two Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, again, BA are still a thing, Dolls are still a thing. Uh, flying C, because Clown Blade is the thing, and I don't really care for Clown Blade. Uh, one Epsilon, I'm probably going to bump that up to two. Um, oh, no, I have two in here, my bad. Two Epsilons. Uh, we have two Mistakes, Rest Guard against Necros, hands down, and two MSTs, because Floodgates will kill this deck. But, so two uh, MST in the side and two uh, Galaxy Cyclone in the main. Mm -hmm. Okay. So like game two, uh, what I might do is I might side out a Galaxy Cyclone to uh, side in an MST because that way if I see an Iron Wall, I can. They're thinking Galaxy Cyclone is completely dead, but if I have MST, then you know that'll work. Obviously, I probably side in both MSTs. So. Okay, continue. So that was the best. That's just an extra sleeve. Oh. <laughs> All right. So, um, tell me what will you take out from the main? From the, the new list. For the new list, um, not 100% sure yet. I'm not sure how magic specters are going to be. Um, I mean, I could probably always cut one of the dualities out. Um, Maybe it maybe a circuit if people find that you know playing two is actually you know better than playing three. Okay. Driver, I'm pretty sure I'll keep in at three. Uh, Delta is definitely coming out. Uh, it, I'm definitely running play two Delta. All right. Um, I know that I don't know. And Rabbit Rabbit is uh, up in the air from what I'm, I'm seeing like new builds, so I may you know, drop Rabbit for something else. Okay. But for right now, I'm gonna keep it in there because I still like Rabbit. Okay. I know that I don't know too much about uh, side frames, so I'm gonna ask a very stupid question. So, um, does reasoning good in your deck? Because you rise a lot of di a many a lot of different uh, levels. Reasoning is not really that good because it's gonna put a monster on the field, and side frames activate when there's no monsters on your field. So you don't want that extra monster because you don't summon enough. If you're gonna normal summon something in this deck, you're either gonna su normal summon a Max C, a card, a uh, uh, Rabbit, or a card card. Just and you're gonna run reasoning just to synchro with one of these guys. It's, it just seems like a really bad play. Okay, so the deck is all, all about uh, hand trap. Then um... the deck is all about using the side frames that are in your hands to negate. 
negate your opponent's effects okay. like, and catch them off guard. All right, so you don't want any set, uh, so if, you're playing, if you're playing against Necros, you wait for them to activate a mirror so that way you can activate your Delta. Or if you have an Omega on field, you wait for them to activate the mirror and then you can banish like the shrip from their hand or something with uh, with Omega and then they can't resolve it and you get to see their hand. How often do you uh, normal summon? Do I normal summon? Yeah. Only if I have Rabbit or Card Card. Okay, so otherwise you don't. Otherwise really... you don't normal summon at all this time. Uh, so basically, if you if you put it to summon a monster and keep attacking you, you have, you have beta. You have beta. You have the trap. You have alpha on like the normal summon possibly. Uh, gamma if it activates an effect. There's a lot of outs. I have you know you saw the torrential. There's multiple ways out. So one on one, it, it's not good in your deck because you do in my deck. No, I don't run X season. No, 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 not the monster, but I'm something. The, magic, the spell call, the one on one spell call. That just call it one, um, a, a monster or two, especially some level one. Oh, one four one. Okay, I'm sorry. One four one. Yeah, sorry. Wow. One four one. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um, I could probably. Try. I can see. Oh, what, I don't know. I can see that have. working possibly. Um, if you have a Zeta on field, because there's really nothing you want to summon that level one if you have a Omega on field, and the whole deck's idea is to get Omega on the field. Um, if you're stuck in a position where you can only use Zeta. Uh, it could get you to, a, to an Omega. It's not a terrible idea. You'd have to discard something, which could make, which could leave you with less fodder for your trap card, and I'd still say your trap card is better than a one for one deal. So he's asking me questions. I'm answering questions. Um, what do you think of the new ban list? That does it have a, a good impact on your deck wise? On my deck? No, it doesn't do. It, 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 yeah, it got well, meaning like that. I it got that, rid of. It got rid of. The, every deck in the format that was, you know, relevant, like, like so, everything that could hurt this deck really is gone for right now. Now we got to see what Cosmos and Magic Specters do. I go back to like, the top decks going into the new no format. So. Right, right. I'm saying that. Uh, I mean, these these guys they don't target, so they can still stop like a. Uh, they can still stop the effects of Cosmos that are attacking, like the ships, uh, Magic Specters. They can still negate their effects. Um, I believe. I don't know if they have to destroy and negate the effect. But I think so I'm saying that with with the new banners, it helps. Helps you more by um, this wall from here. By uh, by making your deck uh, uh, become a more like a T one ish deck rather than uh, before where it's not very popular. Now it's much popular because all the uh, uh, necros, shadows. Uh, I believe the deck's really underrated. I believe that everybody's so amped up on the Cosmo hype train that they forget that this is still actually a deck, and it's not. It doesn't have that ter that bad of a Cosmo matchup. I, I still think it's good. I know. 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 This card right, this card right here is the prime example of why this card, why this deck is good. Once per turn, discard, banish a card, and I can banish one of your cards. And I banish for cost, so this card can help me get around mind drain or uh, mind crush. It can help me get around like uh, deep prisons. Like yeah, I'll still banish my card, but at least I'll take another card with it. So this card at the right time, if you if you misplay this card, you're go that's when you're gonna lose really bad with this deck. This, if you play this card right, you should be alright. Um, just for side decking wise, uh, when you side deck against uh, 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 like shadows or necros, what would you take out? What would I take out of the main deck? Yeah. Um, against a shadow or necros player? I mean Cosmo too. Like you I'm, and Cosmos, which yeah. it depends on which one I'm playing specifically. Um, uh, just so I guess from uh, from Cosmo first. If I'm playing Necros, I actually uh, don't yeah, like I actually don't like Maxi against Necros because they really only go for one ritual summon most of the time. Right. Um, I, I don't know. I I tend to take out at least a Maxi. Uh, out of this deck currently, I know I'd take out a Delta. Um, I'd probably take out a Duality. So there's three cards. I know I'd probably take out the Upstarts. It's I mean, y yes or no, depending on how they play. I could probably take out a rabbit. I like to at least keep one in there. And uh, so that's about four or five cards. Against Necros, I'd obviously go with my mistakes. And, uh, uh, Come on, Brendan! Uh, I don't really even need that many. I just need the mistakes. Maybe I might side in MSTs just because I'm pretty sure they put in a Floodgate or two, but... What, for, what kind of plug are they used against you? Uh, if Andy's empty, this hurts really bad. And, uh, yeah, that card's really tough to deal with. 
What about like Mind Drain? Mind Drain's Mind Drain kills us because we can't even activate the effects. Um, again, so a card like that is why MST. If I'm playing Necros, obviously they wouldn't be separately playing Mind Drain, but. Um, I mean, they don't. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Mind, no, Mind Crush is a really hard card to, t to take because you show them your hand and you lo you still lose a card and lose your effect. It's just bad. So okay. mainly that's why you want to have overload on the field is just to get rid of the card in your hands that they're calling okay. and uh, hope you don't have doubles of it. Uh, what about uh, against uh, Cosmo? Were you uh, uh, side hey, against them? Against Cosmos? What were I side against them? Shit, we're still doing this. Um, Again, you can still side mistake against them. Um, I'm not really sure how they are with traps. I don't see too many builds where they're like trap heavy, so Epsilon is kind of iffy. Uh, unless they go for the floodgates and stuff. If they go for like Mind Crush or something like that, if I see a game one, I'll obviously, go, obviously put this in. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, mainly just these two. I mean, the side deck's going to change eventually after today. So, do you will you consider putting uh, the hands in? Yes, definitely. I, I I really like the hands. It's gonna make I love. I've always been one to like the hands, so, because you just make them use resources, and then they're gonna get rid of. They're gonna lose those resources anyway. So, I feel the cipher is doing the work behind the behind the uh, hands. Then they should be all right. So. And do you have any uh, last comment or last more that you want to shout out to him? Uh, give to, I guess. Don't take Cyframes lightly. All right. They're going to be a good deck. All right. That's it? That's it, man. All right, thanks. Have a good one.